There has been a lot of talk since the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the health care bill is constitutional. So how big of an issue will health care be in the general election? And are President Obama and Mitt Romney essentially on the same side despite the political spin? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, over the past few days, so much discussion has been focused on the issue of the Affordable Care Act as a tax. President Obama has said the individual mandate is not a tax, it is a penalty. Well, now a senior official for the Romney campaign has agreed with that idea. So tonight, let's cut through the spin. Just how far apart are President Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney when it comes to health care? Well, let's start with this question. Now that the Supreme Court has upheld the Affordable Care Act, what would these two men do with it? Well, if reelected, President Obama won't do anything to scale back the Affordable Care Act, obviously, but he may decide to add to it. If you're one of the more than 250 million Americans who already have health insurance, you will keep your health insurance. This law will only make it more secure and more affordable. Insurance companies can no longer impose lifetime limits on the amount of care you receive. They can no longer discriminate against children with pre-existing conditions. Add to it because that, of course, is really not true. Most Americans have their health coverage through their employer. Under this plan, an employer can drop coverage for employees completely, or they can change coverage, and you as the employee have no say. Even so, no surprise where the president stands. So what does his main Republican challenger, Mitt Romney, have to say about this? The day of the health care ruling, Romney promised to do this. It's important for us to repeal and replace Obamacare. What are some of the things that will keep in place and must be in place in a reform, a real reform of our health care system? One, we have to make sure that people who want to keep their current insurance will be able to do so. Having 20 million people, up to that number of people, lose the insurance they want is simply unacceptable. Number two, got to make sure that those people who have pre-existing conditions know that they will be able to be insured and they will not lose their insurance. We also have to assure that we do our very best to help each state in their effort to assure that every American has access to affordable health care. And something that Obamacare does not do that must be done in real reform is helping lower the cost of health care and health insurance. The battle between Obama and Romney over the health care issue is fascinating. The only president in U.S. history to pass mandatory health care for the nation, facing the only governor in U.S. history to pass mandatory health care for his state. Whether Republicans want to admit it or not, Romney not only created the blueprint for Obamacare, but personally advocated for the individual mandate. This is a clip of Mitt Romney on Fox News in 2006. For those that have higher incomes, we expect them to have health insurance. And if they don't, we're going to withhold their tax refund or put in place other penalties to assure that everybody comes in the system. So when Romney says he wants to repeal and replace Obamacare, the biggest unknown question is, replace it with what? The four things the former governor has listed include making sure that people can keep their health insurance, protecting those with pre-existing conditions from being denied coverage, making health care affordable, and lowering the cost of health insurance. But all four of those things the president has said he was doing with the Affordable Care Act and continues to say he's doing even now. So what you need to know is that both Governor Romney and President Obama have very similar answers and very similar views on health care. That the government is the only entity that can really fix what is broken. The two opposing positions on this really aren't opposing each other at all. If Romney had the opposing position, it would be to extract government from health care, not just through Obamacare, but beyond, and open up the market to lower costs. But that is not the case. The president, who insists that everyone has to pay into the health care system, versus the governor, who mandated the very same thing. And that is Reality Check. If you would like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan, WXIX.